Hello fellow Audio Karma people and anyone on the internet who happens to stumble on this video. Uh, this morning I got a knock on my door. It was the delivery guy and he had this lovely package for me and I suspect it is my U-turn turntable. So I've been waiting for this for a while and I thought, you know, uh, it's this cool occasion. It's actually the first new turntable I've ever had. All my other stuff has always been vintage. So I thought I would record this for posterity and uh, also do a little bit of review for you guys. So first off, let's do just a standard unboxing. Got my Swiss Army knife here. Try not to cut my, uh, my hand off. While doing this. That hopefully is the end of the, the knife. And we open this up here. And let's just uh, angle this so you guys can get a, a look inside. So we pull this out. And we have our platter. Oh, this is actually nice and heavy acrylic platter. Um, this is pretty nice. This is actually um, not the regular U-turn turntable. This is the slightly more advanced one. So this platter is supposed to be a little nicer. Uh, so that, that feels great. Slip mat, of course. We'll get this out of the way. Underneath, we've got a box where they've got some cables. Uh, looks like some documentation. And, of course, that is on top of our dust cover. All right. So we pull this out, and, you know, right away I can feel that this is not the, you know, it's not like a Technics super heavy turntable uh, dust cover, but it is, it feels like it would take a decent amount of, of, of uh, moderate, you know, household abuse. Definitely not something I would do too much or pile anything on top of, though. Um, got cables, got instructions. This feels like the power wart, so get that out of the way. And here is the actual turntable itself. I'll show that to you guys here. Pull off nice, nicely, de uh, nicely designed styrofoam inserts there. Uh, it's a very nice turntable, nice, nice looking arm. It looks very nice, um, but let's actually set it up and see how it actually, uh, how it actually is, shall we? All right, so we're doing the next part of this little uh, setup video here with the Orbit turntable. And I thought I'd point out to you guys the wall wart adapter, the, the plug, basically. It's a pretty standard AC adapter. However, uh, it is pretty substantial in size. So this is probably something that you want to make sure you have room in your plug for. So I'm going to plug that in, and then we'll move on with the rest of the video. Poof! And the power adapter has been plugged in through the magic, magic of jump cut video. Um, so a couple things I just want to point out about the uh, table that I've already noticed. Uh, first off, I really do like the color and it's a nice construction, or at least it feels very nice. <coughs> You'll notice that we have our little um, padded wheel here, um, which has two different speeds, the, the 33 and the 45. We also have on the back our hinges. And this is where the, the adapter for the power plug plugs in. The audio outputs are, are right here on the other side. So wall, plug, power adapter, both on the back, pretty easy to set up. <laughs> They've protected the spindle with this little bit right here. Uh, we don't need that. <laughs> and uh, thankfully, they decided to tie down the tone arm, which shows that these guys actually do care about their product, at least to a certain degree, because you wouldn't want to let that just bounce around. Um, this, whoa, this huh, flows very easily, very, could definitely feel the, the very easiness of that flow. Very, kind of a light tone arm, actually. I'm used to a slightly heavier thing, like on a Technics um, or a Pioneer. Um, as you can see, I have a decent amount of audio equipment over here, You know, there's my uh, Technics and my normal receiver. That's my main sort of setup. 
Above there, I have a, a Technics receiver and an SL D2 turntable, which I don't use very much anymore. It's a great table, though, a great starter table for anybody. Um, if you can find one, they, they run like a champ. And then over here, I have another great table, uh, <laughs> the PL1000A, which is, of course, um, a rebranding of uh, the Phase Linear uh, turntable under the Pioneer label. Uh, so Pioneer bought Phase Linear and rebranded it. But let's get back to the Orbit. That's what we're all here for. And uh, I'm going to now start doing some things to set up this table. So the first thing I'll point out is they actually give you this nice little setup guide, which actually I, I looked over briefly here in one of the gaps, and I really do like it's got the very easy instructions to follow uh, to set it up. It talks about if you're setting it into a, a, a stereo receiver uh, or using a phono preamp. So, um, you know, especially for beginners who this is targeted for, I think that's good information. Also, of course, talks to you about... Uh, to start spinning and make sure that you're playing a record and, and the right speed and all that, which is obviously important. And then they've got some just nice, useful hips, uh, tips at the bottom here. These tips are ways to keep better care of your records and better care of the turntable. That's a really nice little thing. I actually really, really dig that because, again, it shows that these guys actually do care about their audience. And on the back, they've just got a diagram of everything included. Now, if we start putting this together... <clears throat> Our first step is to put the acrylic platter, which is almost invisible here. It look, doesn't even really show up on the monitor very well. Um, but it's supposed to put this down over the spindle. So just very gently do that. And that that landed really nicely. Uh, I'm gonna have to dust off my fingerprint later. Sorry about that. Um, they of course gave us a felt dust cover so you can put that on there if you like um, gives that a very classy kind of a view however I've also got one of my old ones uh, from another turntable so I could probably just put that on there if I wanted to uh, obviously this hasn't been used in a while it's kind of curling around the edges uh, I'll do that later for now we'll use a standard setup with their black felt mat that they've included which feels nice it doesn't feel like anything premium but it does feel just like a very nice solid uh dust cover not the cheapest you could possibly have it's not fraying it doesn't feel like a piece of wool that's going to leave dusty deposits on your records it feels nice <coughs> the next thing they tell me to do is take the belt out so uh, we pull out the belt from the uh thing the bag uh it's a pretty long actually uh, and I loop it around the the platter here. Actually, I think I'm supposed to do it around the pulley first. See, I screwed up, everybody. So uh, loop it around the pulley, and then around the platter itself. Oh, hold on, just a moment, everybody. All right, so now that we've attached the, the belt, they want us to attach the RCA cables, which are the, the sound. You might uh, know these as the red and white cables, um, if you're not particularly used to using audio equipment. So we uh, can just take a look at the turntable back here, and they're color-coded, of course and put that back carefully as I can not to ruin the brand new turntable um, and I'm using a, uh, a phono preamp for this actually Art DJ Pro 2 uh, excellent little preamp for those of you who are looking for one and just set it up again white to white red to red set that up right in there <clears throat> If you have a vintage receiver, actually like this is being plugged into, there's a phono input. I'm not using it though because my phono input is already being used by another turntable. As you can see, I kind of have a plethora of those. <laughs> now, we want to attach the dust cover. So, the dust cover should just slide over these hinges in the back here.
And that's really easy. I mean, that, that was less than five minutes. So um, I've put it in a place where it's probably not quite as tall as it's supposed to be. Let's see if I can get this uh, dust cover to prop up here. No, I can't. I have it in a place where it's not supposed to be. It's This is too short for what it's supposed to be. But you get the idea the dust cover would normally open up and stay up. Um, but I, I have it in the middle of this cabinet here. Uh, I'll fix that later, but for right now, let's actually see how the turntable plays. So I thought long and hard about what should be the first, um, the first record I play on my new turntable. And I thought of a lot of different options. <laughs> Only one really, though, kept coming back to me. And that is one of my favorite records of all time. That is Abbey Road. Now, some of you who go to the Audio Karma forums might remember a few months back, I did an Abbey Road Battle Royale where I compared a whole bunch of different versions of this album and uh, which one sounded the best. And a lot of people criticized me because I compared a lot of different versions, but I didn't include the original UK pressing because at the time I didn't have one. Well, since then, everybody, I have remedied that situation. So that's what this is, a first UK pressing of Abbey Road. So if we put this out here, let's put it on the orbit. And let's see how this baby sounds. So uh, got to take off a little plastic protector for the stylus. Thank goodness they put that on there. <clears throat> Again, thank you, Orbit guys. <coughs> and we turn it on, and uh, it doesn't take very long to get up to speed. I actually got up to speed pretty quickly there. Um, so I'm going to try now moving this arm. Uh, some people have complained it doesn't have a Q lever. They have added one. Actually, um, with mine, I received a little coupon because there was a delay on getting mine to me. Uh, so they give me a coupon for the Q-Lever. It'll be an add-on that you can add to the turntable. Supposedly, uh, supposedly, it will be compatible with all of the Orbit turntables. So, let's give this a listen and see how it goes. Hand cued? Not that hard, but I understand some people have reasons they can't do that. Um, And there you have it. That's my first play of the Orbit turntable. Um, you know, I'm going to do a lot, little bit more listening and do a more comprehensive review later. Uh, but my first impression is absolutely solid. Um, sounds really, really good. I mean, it's not as heavy duty as you would expect from like a really solidly built turntable. But it, everything seems to go together pretty well if you're just buying this because you want to hear something that sounds good and you're going to put it on your shelf. Uh, I think this is a pretty compelling buy so far. It definitely brings out a lot of the sound that's in the groove. Um, sounds really nice on the speakers. There's um, you know, a decent stylus that comes with it. Uh, and again, like I said, no noticeable problems or flaws with the sound. 
Um, I am going to compare this to another higher end turntable. Not a totally fair comparison because the U-turn guys aren't totally trying to compare or fight against much nicer turntables. I am going to do that though just so people can get an idea of uh, how this stacks up against um, some of the vintage competition that's really out there. So uh, in a little bit I'll do that, but first I'm going to listen to this turntable a little bit more and uh, get an idea of how it sounds. So away we go. Shh. 